looking beautimous. Oh, well, it looks like I'm a warrior. Rub a dub dub, scrub a dub rub. Hey guys, it's Clearly, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a super fun video. I'm gonna be doing another makeup video. I am so excited to show you guys this video. But before we get on to this, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below to join my clay base squad. And comment if you like these types of videos or give it a big thumbs up if you like these. Now, let's get on to the video. All right, so I am going to be doing a no foundation makeup routine. So, first thing I do is pull my hair back. Pull these suckers out. And my ponytail doesn't need to look perfect, obviously, because we're just doing our makeup. And then pull these back. And sometimes I use bobby pins, if there are any, but there aren't. Then, next thing I do is I pull out the stuff I'm going to be using. So I have got my concealer, just for some small spots to to my face, I guess. I've got this e.l.f. hydrating primer that we will also be using. Then, CoverGirl um, powder stuff. Bronzer, my favorite thing, as well as mascara. So, first thing I did is I wash my face, which I already did, so we don't need to do that today. And then next, I am going to be using this e.l.f. hydrating primer. Just got a little bit. This stuff feels so weird. It is the weirdest feeling ever. Like, makes your skin feel oily. But it's helpful, so we're gonna use it, because it's helpful. Now, I'm going to just rub it in to my face. Rub a dub dub, scrub a dub rub, bubby dub rub rub dub rub dub. Ow. Rub a dub, scrubby dub. Okay, now my hands feel oily, so I'm gonna clean them. Here we go. My hands are clean. My face feels fantastic. So as you can tell, it looks glowy and smexy. Now we are going to add my concealer. And I, oh, stupid pains, being annoying. I'm going to. Add some just to here, if my bangs would go away. And I like to call this my warrior makeup because, well, it looks like I'm a warrior. So there's that too. I'm gonna do here. And there we go. I'm a warrior. Okay, now we're gonna start blending it with my handy dandy blender brush. This always makes my eyes burn. Like, yeah. And I close my eyes and get the under my eye, I guess. Ah! There we go. Looking beautimous. Then I like to add this powder. This is like setting powder, I guess you could say. Just makes it so that it doesn't, I don't know, fall off or whatever. We're gonna do this. There we go. Now I'm just gonna wave it around. Just kidding, we really don't need to do that. Now I'm going to use my master bronzer. We got my, this is not needed, special brushes. We're gonna start with this darker one. Just gonna hit it. Hit it for a while. Just kidding, that's enough. And I'm gonna go like this. Just right under it. You can see that's a very distinct line, so don't worry yet. I'm going to blend it in, so no need to worry. This is one of my favorite parts. I love to just go like this. It's so soothing. That looks like a bad bronzer job. Only right now though, guys, don't worry. It's not going to look like this. There we go, and I'm done. Now I'm gonna use my second one. And I'm gonna smile like this. And I'm gonna get this cheekbone and go all the way up above it. Sorry guys, this is a little hard to do. Wow, that looks so bad in the camera, guys. I promise, it's really not gonna be this bad. Okay, now for the part we've been waiting for. Blending it. But right now it's a very distinct line. And we do not want that distinct line. And 
there we go. There's that. But I am not done, guys. Now it's for highlight time. So I'm just brushing this. And I'm gonna get right up here. Just like so. And same with the other side. Now that my cheeks are done, I'm gonna do a little bit on the nose. Just like that. Cute nose. And right here. And down here. And that is all for my bronzer kit. So, we are done almost with my full face. You could tell, I mean, I still am using powders and bronzers and stuff, but it just makes it a little bit better for the after part of when I have to take off the makeup because your face looks a little more natural, but if you still put on a lot of concealer and a lot of bronzer and stuff, it won't really make a difference, but it makes your face look a little more natural so you don't have just a completely different color. That makes any sense but now that we're done with that now it is time for mascara my favorite part let's get started we're just gonna be here for a long time see the funny thing is I can get all my makeup done in five minutes but my mascara takes an hour longer gotta bring my handy dandy mirror a little bit closer oops I did not mean that. Definitely didn't mean that. There we go. One eye done. Now for the next one. <sighs> Wish me luck. This is gonna be hard. You know what sucks, guys? Is when one eyelash looks like flippin' amazing, other eyelash is like, ugh, gross. So let's hope today's not that day, except normally it's every day. It's every day, bro. Okay, and we're done. Sorry, RIP headphone users. So, there we go. We're done with that part. But we are not done with my mascara yet. I gotta wait for this to dry, and then I am going to curl it, and then I'm gonna do my bottom eyelashes. So I'll see you guys in a hot minute. A few moments later. Okay guys, now that it is finally done, we've been waiting long enough. It's time to curl them. Here it goes. Now we're gonna wait another five minutes. Woo! Perfecto. Okie dokie. Now, I'm gonna take another mascara. Just kidding, just a brush. I'm gonna comb them out a little so I don't get those clumps. There we go. Now for the others, actually. Nope, still got a little more. Just got that one little area. And we're good. Next side. Parfait. Now it's time to do my bottom. Actually, first I'm gonna get all these flaky flakies off. Annoying flakies. Go over my phone. Okay, we're good. Now well, let's do the bottom eyelashes. My favorite part. Just kidding. It's not really my favorite. Actually, I love it though. Okay, so for this part, these bangs are being annoying. So we are gonna take my handy dandy strunchy. Scrunchy, 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 and do that. It's not attractive, but it works. I try to not get it on my bottom eye, under my eyelashes, but I know that if I do, it's fine because I am gonna, the next step will help with that. Sometimes I'll look to the side like this so I can see my eyelashes a little better and comb through. Just like so, perfection. Just kidding. Gotta do the other side again. Okay, this side is wretched. So, let's fetch. Just kidding. I've got my makeup remover. And 
find some Q-tips somewhere else. Give me a second. So I've already done this side, but I just, I kind of like look like this so that the Q-tip won't touch my eyelashes because <laughs> we took way too long for it to mess up. So I'm gonna do this and then I just brush it. But I don't go too hard so that it hits the eyelashes and then smudges because that would suck. Tutorial number uno dos. Just kidding. Successful. So now I can take all my hair it's wretched stuff out. Voila! Makeup tutorial without mas obviously mascara. Without foundation is done. So I really liked this one because it's a lot easier and you still can have a little bit of your You can still have a little bit of your natural face color and look, and it looks a little more natural. So I hope you guys like this. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you like these types of videos and comment if you like them. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to join my family and my squad, whatever you wanna call it. And I will see you guys in these next two videos. Bye guys.